I'm B. Rudy with University of Missouri Rala. I like the ERP simulation game because it is so flexible that you can tag your imagination with the game. And I use it for my MBA classes and I use it for faculty workshop. In general, with this game, you can incorporate materials from economic, from accounting, from marketing, and uh, we also do it with BW uh, Business Intelligence with Data Warehouse. The way the game is set up, you have the flexibility to develop your own materials and incorporate with the game. And I use it for my students. I did the survey before and after the first week and the second week. Students think there's with this game, they are able to look beyond the mechanical part of SAP operations. And they are able to think about strategies after the first week or two. So they can develop marketing strategies, business strategies, operation strategies, as well as pricing and costing strategies. I use a lot of SAP cases. I just don't see other cases will have the ability of this ERP simulation game. And that's the way I like it. I have been using the ERP simulation game from the very beginning. And the support is superior. I work with Pierre, Jacquet, and Gilbert, and they, their support is just fantastic. I see the game evolve from very limited, with very limited customization capability with uh, until its current stage, which is flexible. You can customize the game. You can tweak it. That's the way I like it. You can tweak it to meet your own demand. Uh, say, if you are covering marketing, say targeting, differentiation, segmentations, you can find something in the game to meet your material requirements. You can incorporate the game into your curriculum very easily. I have an 18 credit hour MBA course that students take in a semester. And uh, I use the game very differently from the other schools. I have a boot camp type. Uh, class for the first two weeks. Students spend like 40 hours in two weeks to learn the game. And at that time, they work primarily on the mechanical part. And where I need a lot of support from Gilbert, from Pierre, from Jacquet. And they are all superiors. And after the first two weeks, we incorporate other materials. and. With their support, I was able to tweak the game to meet my own requirements. And that's something the other SAP cases, the other SAP game cannot provide. The other advantage of this game is students get into the competitions and they motivate them to them beyond just whatever materials you give them. They can look beyond the uh, content beyond the simulations, then they give you something. They ask smart questions. They want to learn what's the economic theory behind the games, how the market operates, how can we achieve optimal product mix, how can we achieve and set up optimal pricing policies. And you cannot expect student, uh, students to ask these kind of questions with the other cases or games. And this is the only game in my experience with SAP for almost 10 years. This is the first game that gives me that kind of flexibility and that uh, gives students the ability to look beyond the mechanical part. So this is a good game, very interesting, and it boosts the uh, say class spirits to the very high, uh, how do I say? to a very high level and they are eager to learn more and they cannot wait to see the evolution of the games. I was told that uh, the game will incorporate capacity management and will incorporate uh, 
customer uh, segmentation information, and we are looking forward to it. Thank <laughs> you.